Hey guys, HS here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 to tackle the Leon B scenario. Let's do it. So as you can see, I've completely replayed through the game as Claire to get the B scenario. So let's begin. Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. What does the S stand for? Got here. Guys, a maniac. Why did he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. to the 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. At the same time, at the same place, you have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. Okay, let's go. So basically this is the other side of that crash, which is a much quicker entrance to the police station. No, you don't. No, you don't. And through the gate. And there you go, I'm technically in what's considered the police grounds, meaning we're in clear scenario to make it a long way without killing anyone to get the special key. I've already met those requirements with Leon already in the B scenario, so one less thing to worry about. Yeah, I've been key, I'll take it. So this is our protagonist, Leon Kennedy. As you heard, this is his, he is a member of the Raccoon City Police Department and this is his first day on the job. Conveniently, as the law goes, he was actually running late for work. Meaning he missed out on a lot of the shit that happened in Raccoon City because of this. So him overlaying for work kind of, you know, worked in his favour. Oh. Okay, is anything in here for Leon? Oh boy! Bullets! I'll have those. Well, that wasn't ominous at all. So, Leon's entrance to the RPD in the B scenario. Is basically when I was clear and I came down from the heliport. Yeah, this is how Leon actually gets in. Oh, damn it. Come on, I don't always bullets right now. Go, 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 go! Oh, she got me. Get off, get off! And up. Look, a Brian Irons clone! Now we know how that helicopter got there in the A scenario. So that police officer had an automatic submachine gun, only had two zombies to face down, couldn't beat them, died and shot the helicopter pilot. Great. Competence from the RPD there. Let's hope Leon's better. And we're in the RPD. Hell yeah. I shall take your herb. Crow hallway is still crow hallway. But he's carrying bullets and I want them. Go, 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 go. <laughs> in, 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 in. There we go. Leave those herbs for the time being, I don't need them. We'll go into this part of the police station, take us into where the detective officers are. Because some lot of the items in the beast now here have been moved around. 
Not these bullets though. They're mine. <laughs> okay, I'm probably not going to be able to get through this without firing off at least a few bullets. I will take the valve handle. zombie because that's why I need zombies getting in my way that it they did no that one in the office is coming out I'll reload the pistol Go on, I'm here. Back it up, Leon. Back it up. He's down. Okay, so we'll go into this office. Don't need the memo for the code for this because I already know it. Two, two, three, six. Some boomstick shells, always useful. Map of the police station that I don't need, but I'll take it anyway. Some bullets on the table. I'll take those. And now we're going to head back to where the helicopter crash was because I have the valve handle. Meaning I can use it to rupture the water tank and put out the blaze. It's all coming together. Plenty of herbs lying around, but I can collect those later. Coming through, crows. And now that the fire's out, time to get some much needed bullets. Ooh, shotgun shells. Nice. That's why they survived this. But they do. That's not good. Oh, 
And now I'm in trouble. Come on, drop him. And he's down. Now that is Mr. X. Tyrant series from the T-Virus. Now in the B scenario he will pop up from time to time and you have two options. You can run or you can stay and fight. Every time you fight him he'll drop some ammo or something useful. He's not hard, he's slow, it's just at this point in the game you don't really have much in the way of firepower but that'll change. And that's just to show you he'll be back. And more annoying than ever. <laughs> 